you had a great famous jersey that this country loved, and you nicely gave it to Team Canada's trainer. Um, Joe Scott. Yeah, and he, after a while, I guess, sitting around the house, he gave it to somebody in the States, and then that person sold it to an auction house. And then it comes up, it's up for auction. Canada's shopping mall tycoon, um, Mr. Goldhart, buys it for $1.2 million. You didn't see a penny of that. Nope. How badly did that hurt? Not at all. Not at all. It was just... Uh, you know, my grandkids, I said, you know, like, what were you thinking, giving that away? <laughs> but in 72, there was no real memorabilia market or anything like that. And so, uh, uh, and I gave the other one to the Hall of Fame. Never thought about that. And I've never really been one to collect a lot of things. And most of it went to charity auctions anyway. So, but I guess hindsight's twenty twenty. If I'd have known it was going to sell for 1.27, I probably would have kept it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, but a year ago, then you did tour with that sweater. Yeah, I did. Great yeah, time. Mitch's Road Show, and you went to 104 towns and cities. What did you learn about our country and the game? Well, I did. They went to 105. I went to 24 of them. Okay. Uh, All right. But it's uh, well, we wrote that book last year, "How Hockey Defines Canada." Jim Prime and I wrote that book, and it really is. I really believe hockey is in the DNA of Canadians, and it's really interesting. People seldom ask me questions. When I first time I meet them, you know what they want to tell me? They want to tell me where they were, uh, what they were doing, and the impact that they had. And uh, uh, I've been celebrating that for 40 years, and I still get new stories. Unbelievable. I, I just, this just happened about three weeks ago. I, uh, a girl came up to me and said, you killed my grandfather. Wow. <laughs> you know and I said, well, what do you mean? And he said, well, you my grandfather was the biggest hockey fan. When you scored, he got up and he was jumping up and down. And he took a heart attack and died that day. Wow. But he said, he said he went out a happy man. He wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't young, but.